So what have we got here, John? Looks to me like the diet point of this is you can't get your spoon into these dishes here. I've got a demonstration for you, Dan, that you're never going to forget. This is a demonstration that I give at St. Lena Hospital and Health Center to the people I take care of. It's a demonstration that's going to prove beyond a doubt the problem is not that we eat too much. I mean, you hear that all the time, that the reason people are fat is because they eat too much. What I want to show you, and through your powers of observation, you will conclude it's what we eat, not how much we eat. Now, what I have here, Dan, is I have stomachs, and these are about the size oh, of really? your stomach. Yeah, these are glass stomachs. you got to use your imagination a little bit, all okay. right? Now, what I'm going to allow you to do is to eat 500 calories per meal, and I'm going to give you different choices of food to fill your stomach with, and remember, all you get is 500 calories. For your first meal, Dan, I'm going to give you 500 calories of butter. Do you feel pretty satisfied? You feel like your stomach's no, no, full? You can have it. You don't like butter. Okay. Well, I just want to show you what 500 calories of butter would do as far as filling your stomach. And this mm -hmm. could also be 500 calories of olive oil or salad dressing that have the same amount of filling, not much, and you'd be very hungry and want more to eat. Now, if we chose, say, 500 calories of meat, that's all the fuller your stomach would get on 500 calories of meat. You would still be yearning more to eat. Are, are, you, are you telling me now what I'm responding to when I eat is hunger that is exhibited by the fact my stomach isn't full? That's right. The way you satisfy your hunger primarily is by filling up your stomach. And so that's what you want to accomplish at every meal is to fill up your stomach. The average person will burn uh, 1,500 to 3,000 3, calories a day. And so if we divide the meals up into 500 calorie meals, it gives you some idea of what you might choose for, say, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Here's 500 calories of cheese. Again, you know, you're not looking at very much to fill your stomach up. Now, these are what people often think of as dieting foods as meat and cheese. But they don't do much as far as filling the stomach. Let's take a look here at 500 calories of rice. And that could be white rice or brown rice. Of course, brown rice is healthier. A lot more filling. You're a lot more satisfied. Here's 500 calories of corn. Now, that is a lot of food. And here, Dan, I couldn't put 500 calories of potatoes in here. I could only put 400 calories in. So you've got to imagine the extra potatoes sitting up here and not able to fit in the stomach. So you see, Dan, when people switch from these types of foods that are so concentrated in calories to these kinds of foods that are so bulky and dilute in calories, what happens is dieting and weight loss is effortless. You want to get to dessert, I'm, right? I, I want you to get over here quick. All right. You have a choice. Here's 500 calories of a candy dessert. Not much satis satisfaction there. Or here you could have 500 calories of very colorful fruits for dessert. That's the kind of choice you have. Now, when people figure this out, that all you have to do is switch from the high-fat foods to the foods that are, are, that are plentiful in starches, vegetables, and fruits, they take in twice as much food and half as many calories. All of this is 500 calories. 500 calories. Uh, I'll start in right now. 